Hey, what's up, Northern Colorado? It's Chris Mullenberg and the Mullenberg team here. And I'm joined by the lovely Cicely Booten with the Matthews House, one of our favorite local organizations uh, that we support. And it's that time of year that they need our help more than ever. So I thought it was a great week uh, to get Cicely on board here to tell us a bit more about what is the Matthews House, how coronavirus has uh, changed how they do their, uh, their work, and how we can best help them. So, Cicely, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Chris. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for joining us from uh, work from home. <laughs> it's the new norm. Uh, we're loving it. So, fill everybody in on what is the Matthews House and who do you guys serve? The Matthews House is a local nonprofit. We serve youth and families throughout Larimer County. Some of the specific populations that we serve include youth who are aging out of the foster care system, kids who are maybe involved in the juvenile justice system, families navigating child welfare, uh, maybe parents escaping domestic violence or struggling with substance abuse. So we serve a whole lot of different populations, but the point of all of our programs is to disrupt those cycles of generational poverty and abuse. And in all of our programs, we do that by building relationships, trusting relationships, yep. and providing them with resources. That's awesome. And we got introduced to you guys uh, a little over a year ago, and we were just like so impressed by like how local feel you are, and like you really make it feel like a family organization. That's what we love the most. So you really take these families and make them your own family. Uh, and I love the mantra where you guys say, you know, we're about giving a hand up not a handout, right? It's like there's an empowerment piece to that uh, where the families, as I understand, they feel really good, right? Because they're contributing in, in their own help. That's awesome. Oh yeah, something that we always say is if um, one of our participants that we're working with isn't working as hard as our staff to really make change in their life, then, then all of a sudden we're enabling rather than empowering them. And that's what we're about is empowering the families to um, be on the path to their positive future. Yeah, that's awesome. Glad you're doing that. And what do you personally love the most about working at Matthew's house? I love our staff. Our staff um, truly cares about the people that they're working with and we truly care about each other. Um, the culture at the Matthews house is really unique and it has a family feel. It's very team oriented and we're all very collaborative. It shows. It does. So keep it up. Keep that awesome culture going. Um, so yeah, unfortunate, right? It's COVID-19 time. How has that mainly affected uh, you guys at the Matthews house? It's been crazy, yeah. um, but we are still continuing all the work that we do, it might just look a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the populations, the families and the youth that we serve, unfortunately, a lot of them are hit the hardest because of all of this. And so when someone's already kind of on the brink of crisis and something like this happens, it can become really difficult. So we've really stepped in even more so to make sure that our families um, know that they're supported and that we're going to walk with them through this. So, you know, we've been delivering food boxes, we've been delivering hot meals, um, partnering with restaurants in town Excellent. to really make sure that something as simple as making sure that their families are fed is going to be met. We've been delivering care packages, having a lot of telecommunications to still work on those goals that we were working on before COVID happened. Um, and we, we really just want to make sure that we can remove any barriers possible um, so the family can be healthy and live in a healthy environment because we know that um, a lot of families right now are, you know, are really stressed yeah. <laughs> as we yeah. all are. As we're times. all feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's even more important for you guys and, and what you do right now, I'm sure. Um, and that's why we have you on today too, is, you know, we're here to contribute and help and get the community behind you. Um, and, you know, it's kind of a stigma during uh, a global crisis like this to think, well, maybe nobody wants to donate anymore or, you know, provide help. And that's really not true. I mean, there's a lot of folks out there uh, that still want to give to great causes, especially locally. So what is the number one biggest way we can help you guys as a community uh, right now? Yeah, thanks for asking that, Chris. 
Right now, we have our Holding Hope campaign going on. Um, it's been this long seven-week campaign. We're in our final week right now, and we're just looking for the community to support us financially. Um, so the Holding Hope campaign, it's replacing one of our biggest fundraisers of the year, Cultivate Hope, that ended up having to be canceled, of course. Um, but we, the work still goes on. So we're still yep. trying to raise those critical funds. So we're asking the community to really come together. And even if people aren't able to give as much as they normally would give in this time, every dollar counts. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And uh, we definitely plan to contribute. I know uh, when we got introduced, we went to the, the gala, the big annual fun party. So uh, everybody look out for that in 2021 when it comes That's back. Right. <laughs> uh, so we're doing it virtually this year. You can uh, still sponsor tables, uh, fill seats, uh, or do some fun things with the Matthews House to still contribute. So um, Holding Hope campaign, uh, how do we best locate you guys? Where is the most central uh, place to find you and, and learn more and contribute? Yeah, um, probably the easiest thing would be to go to our website. It's thematthewshouse.org. Okay. And if you're on social media, you can follow us on our Facebook page, which is just The Matthews House. Okay, perfect. And we do that. That's how we stay so up to date with you guys is on Facebook. So you're putting out great videos. Keep that up uh, with stories from The Matthews House because it really uh, it brings your organization to life for us. So keep that up. We will. We're going to keep sharing with the community the good work that's being done. Awesome. Well, that's it for now. And uh, it's been awesome having you, Cicely. Thanks for taking a few minutes for us. Uh, please, everyone who's watching, share this out on your social media. Like Cicely said, this is uh, the last week. And uh, I understand you have a, a pretty big donor match this week. Am I right? That's right. So today and tomorrow, so May 5th and May 6th. Yep. Any donations that come in for our Holding Hope campaign are going to be matched up to $10,000. Wow. Um, so we're really asking people to help us get there because then your money's doubled. Yeah, it's huge. It's Giving Tuesday, which I didn't know much about, but you filled me in. Giving Tuesday, Cinco de Mayo, all the above. Why not? Let's celebrate, uh, contribute, and uh, we look forward to cheersing you and seeing you guys in person just as soon as we can. Wonderful. Thank you, Chris. And thank you for supporting our campaign and the Matthews House. Of course. Okay. Take care. Be safe.